All right, once again, this crazy ride is closely coming to an end. We had to do this in multiple parts due to technical difficulties with my storage. Hopefully, I um, solved it, solved everything. So let's continue on with reading the last page of the five pages of chapter 15. So, uh, let's see, we'll start. From the beginning of the paragraph that we left off on. Luna rushes over to Nat. Are they always so anal? Thanks for getting me in here. I need to hurry though. So can you just pretend I stayed with you the whole time? First, yes, they are. We had a lot of threats get past our gates. And no, I cannot. Don't worry, I know Ella. And I can get to get to ugh, get you to her fast. My name is Natalie. Nat holds her hand out to shake Luna's, but the werewolf is too busy laughing. What's so funny? Meeting you of all people. Ella has told us a lot about you. All good things, don't worry. Luna smiles an all-knowing smile, which makes Nat uncomfortable. Just imagining what details Eleanor gave. Let's just go. Nat leads Luna down to the outdoor field near the Phoenix Center where she knows the polo team will be training. Before they arrive, Luna is walking quicker and quicker until she is in, she's running. Nat gives up trying to keep up with the girl and knows she's going in the right direction. Nat sees Luna and Eleanor hug each other, giving her a relief that she made the right call in escorting Luna. You could have waited for me. Nat huffs out as she tries not to bend over. There is no time, Luna flips a wrist and dismissal, then turns back to Eleanor. I'm telling you the truth. Clayton is losing control of the pack. The more he feels his control slipping, the more off the rails he goes. He's talking nonstop now about bringing you back. He's more obsessed. I overheard him, Cole and Harvey, talking this morning. He was telling them he needs an heir now. You know he cannot have an heir with just anyone. Luna holds on to Eleanor as if the gates to hell were going to be busted down right that minute. All right. Now, last chapter. Chapter 20, first five pages. We're going to start with page 333. Alex leans against her chair and looks at those at the table. She hasn't spoken for three minutes and can tell her friends are getting nervous. Did we do something wrong? Julian is the first to speak. No, you all have done nothing wrong. I have. Alex sighs and leans forward, resting her elbows on the table. I have been treating you guys like shit. After my mom came back into the picture, I started to revert into bad habits. You guys are my family, not slaves. If you chose to help me or work with me, that's because you chose it, not because I commanded. How long will this last, Eleanor scoffs, having been on the worst end of Alex's tyranny? Forever, and if she gets out of line, I'll kick her ass. Nat boldly declares, then winks at Alex. This will last, Ella. I mean it. I'm sorry for my behavior lately. I need you guys. Alex is nervous. Eleanor won't accept the apology. Rachel reaches for Alex's hand and holds it in support. Alex, we support you no matter what. You have a lot of enemies and had a lot thrown on you so fast after your mom got arrested. It's understandable not to be stable all the time. I don't want to be in your service any longer. Eleanor's words shock everyone. Alex looks down, keeping her emotions in. She was afraid Eleanor of Eleanor wanting to leave. I understand. I'll miss you a lot. Alex desires to be defensive and say something to hurt Eleanor just as she's hurt, but she bites her tongue. I'll still be around, ass. If we're really f to be f a family, I can't be owned by you. Your mother bought me and put me in your service. I want to be completely free. Eleanor shifts in her seat, waiting. Alex smiles brightly and nods. Done. I will make sure my coven and my own staff know. Same with Olivia. So, how is this all going to work? Do we burn our jackets? Rachel glances at everyone. Shit, I got a tattoo of your symbol. 
That'll be hard to remove. Julian frowns and looks to Alex for an answer. I don't want to speak for Alex, but I wouldn't change a thing. Her added symbol to the Aurelius Coven symbol was already a rebellion and a stance on her independence. If she wants to continue what she started when she took over this place, keep the symbol. Nat looks over at Alex. Why not, co why not continue to completely separate from your mother and her businesses? Continue to start your own legacy. That's not so easy, Natalie. You'll get her killed. Rachel's mouth, mouth drops and she shakes her head. I'm down. Olivia shrugs with a smile and Nat returns the smile. I think I'm going to focus on finishing school first and, maintain, and maintaining what I already have. Athens and the surrounding territory. The opposition has cooled down a lot now. My mom is free from the order of light. I'm still not willing to do more power grabs right now. While my mom was in prison, I saw just how little resources I have to keep myself, my territory, and you all safe at the same time. She leans back and taps her fingers on the table. Before you tried to do it all yourself and didn't have magical protection. Remember that some of your territory is now under your control after you made a sneaky power move yourself. Rachel cuts Nat off. As I've proven, Alex's territories that are in the pentagram are still hers. They have extra protection and, it's been, and it benefits all witches, including Alex. Once more, Nat turns to Alex. As I was saying, use all of us. Olivia can bring in a few vampires to the table. Julian has talked his way into the pants of almost everyone in the city. I'm sure he can find you some allies. And I'll always have your back. I'll use my team, too. Why don't you two form a crew? Julian suggests. Eleanor agrees and Olivia shrugs. Nat holds her hands up, not agreeing at all. Not only would my coven never allow such a thing, but my team won't accept Alex as co-leader. My group is all about money and equal protection, not the intensity of you guys. Nat and I both are part of two different covens and would never put the other at risk. A union of us will be seen as a direct threat to our covens. Alex stands up. That's it for now. Rachel and I have a plane to catch for her birthday. We'll see you guys in two days back at school. Why can't we all go? I want to celebrate your birthday too, Julian whines as he inclines in his seat. Because we're all always together. I want some alone I want alone ugh, I want time alone with Alex. Rachel kisses Alex, smiling ear to ear. We're going to have a romantic getaway in France alone. She takes Alex's hand and pulls her away. Bye guys. Alright, last page, the fifth page. Back at school two days later, Alex kisses Rachel, too distracted to pay attention to the conversations going on around her. Sweetie, our food is going to get cold. Rachel smiles into another kiss before she leans away from Alex. One more kiss. Rachel blushes, blushes and leans in for another kiss. Julian nudges Leslie and winks before leaning into her. Leslie holds her hand out, stopping him from coming closer. You were just screwing around with James. Don't you dare kiss me with dick breath. That was like 10 minutes ago. I have pizza breath now. Julian wags his eyebrows and takes another bite of his pizza. Julian, you need to keep a toothbrush kit with you at all times. Alex laughs at him before focusing on her own food. Nat is too busy talking sports with Olivia and Russell to notice Eleanor sitting into her lap. She freezes about to blast the person until she notices who the intruder is. Where's your dinner? She thought Eleanor was going to have dinner with the members of her polo team that lived in the dorm. I finished eating already, so I thought I would hang out with you guys. Alex stares at Eleanor. Were they bothering you again? I'll go over there. No, things are great, actually. 
Now with the whole team, but more of the wolves are accepting me again. So please leave them be. You're ruining the progress I made with them. Eleanor grabs a cookie from Nat's plate. Alright, that's the end of the five pages of chapter 20. I want to thank you guys for listening. Put a like and um, comment. Follow me. Subscribe to my channel. Um, we had, let me uh, grab the numbers, have t over 1,200 um, entries to the Darkness Awaits Goodreads giveaway. And 100 people have already been chosen for um, 100 copies of the ebook version. Now, if you did not win, um, you can always order online or order in store. And if you order on my website, jamillastone.com, I will sign the copy of the book. If it's a paperback or hardback, I will sign it for you and ship it. Let me see. What's the right number? Okay. Oh, let me see. Giveaway. Yep. Giveaway. Give it. I'm telling you. Every time I, I think I figured this. Oh, okay. 1,290 people. So hopefully next time we will um, do even bigger. And I will definitely um, next time for my book, the sequel to Gates Bookstore. That will be a paperback. Um, giveaway during um, its pre-order so look forward to that as well um, just coming um, new year all right thank you all again for listening um, I hope you all enjoyed these um, these videos I am definitely um, do um, a few more and if you have any questions put them in the comments and I'll uh, see you guys in my next video